Hey everybody, it's Colin and welcome back to more, uh, God damn it! every freaking time! Hey everybody, it's Colin and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on my channel, which is why it's not welcome back, even though I keep making a fucking mistake! Anyway, welcome to a brand new Let's Play on my channel, this is new Super Mario Bros. U. And, let's just get right into it. With Acorn Plains 1-1. This game is probably my favorite of the whole uh, New Super Mario Brothers series. And already we've got the power up of the level. The Acorn Suit. It is brand new and exclusive to this game. Yeah, not really much to... Not really much to say about the Acorn Suit. Other than it's an incredible power up in its own right. And it's freaking amazing. Oh, it's freaking amazing. Ah. Oh, I wanted to kill the squirrel. Anyway, I don't know how I'm even going to um, go about making this a little more exciting and enticing to watch. But uh, I will try my hardest. Gosh darn it. Uh, I'm planning on doing a, a world per level, which, in theory, is a good idea, but I don't know how long that's going to be in uh, practice, because normally I get good ideas, but they don't really work out, and yeah. Well, I'm right here now, so I can go up here. I'm going to try my best to get every single star coin, because I do want to do the... Uh, I do want to do the, or at least try to do the secret of the star road, I think it's called in this game. Whoa, no. Okay. No, I, uh, okay. I wanted to get all of the bloody coins just to get the clap at the end, which is like, hooray. But yeah. Let's just go. Oh, wait. That was the last coin. Ooh. Yikes. Um... Just gonna do a bit of backtracking to try and get this coin because I kind of, kind of want it. Uh, I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna be doing the um, Star Road, if that is even what it's called in this game. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it because the levels there are insanely difficult. All right, let's just try and find this. Is it in here? Is it literally just in here? It is in here, and I just missed it, because I'm a dumb. I am a freaking dumb. I am the dumbest dumb that has ever dumbed. And I will ask you to politely... I, I don't freaking know anymore. I'm just going to go back up the pipe. And I'm going to go to the end of the level. Hopefully, hopefully, find an acorn. And I found an acorn. That's uh, 
Okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's good. Hopefully, kill a few squirrels along the way, because nobody likes squirrels. Actually, who am I kidding? I love squirrels. <laughs> They're just so cute, man. Squirrels are just so god dang cute. And I messed up at pressing the button. That's my only- that's one of my only qualms with the, um, the Wii U gamepad. Is that the- uh, the buttons are a bit- bit teeny tiny. And there we go! We got- Got the classic, uh, the sound for getting a certain time. Um, what do you have for us, Toad? This doesn't always happen, it just happens with the certain times. Oh, and you give us an ice flower. That's very, very nice of you, Toad. Yeah. Too bad it's not really gonna be useful until maybe the mini boss level? I don't know. <sighs> anyway, Tilted Tunnel. The first of many underground levels in this game. Uh, I'm not gonna take the Fire Flower, uh, but I don't know, should I? Uh, no, I'm not gonna take it. Not gonna take it. Because, gosh darn it, we have the acorn suit for a reason. And that's because it's the new item of this game, and I, I wanted it. Oh, alright, we're gonna take this Cooper shell with us for protection. Whoa. Yeah, another thing, this game is slidey. This game is very slidey. The slidiest of the new Super Mario Brothers games, and I just lost my acorn. This is gonna be a fire flower. Yep, no acorn for me, but eh, at least I can spit straight off fire. At least I can release the best gosh dang mixtape in the whole world. Because it's straight fire. Uh, I don't think I made that point clear enough. Anyway, let's just go down here. Get all these coins, break break some blocks along the way, and who? Yeah, there we go. Alrighty then, let's go over here. Let's break this for a shortcut because yeah, and some extra points by getting this fire flower, even though we do not need it. Yeah, take that. Throw it down there. Kill the Frickin' piranha plant. So good. Gotta go up here. And this is pretty much a guaranteed star coin if you don't, you know, if you actually just go into the pipe. There you go. I actually wonder if there's any way, like absolutely any way to miss getting that that um that one specific star coin even though like I know it's in the code to not let you fail I wonder if it's at all possible to just somehow make it not work I don't know that's just me and my weird weird mind there we go got all the star coins to this level and hopefully we can keep this streak up for this world at least because I don't want to I don't know. I've mm, I've played through the World One levels too much recently because of failed recordings and uh, restarting the game for other people's purposes, uh, etc. No, uh, I wanted top of the flagpole as well. And we got we got another double like repeated digit um time, which means we get another item from Toad. And I believe it's just going to be a mushroom? Yeah. I am that much of a nerd. I, I kind of just, you know. Uh, it may have just been a lucky guess, but I don't know. Oh god, Pe Princess Peach's voice is annoying. I'm gonna quickly go in here just to demonstrate what these are and how they work. These are basically in a shuffle minigame. You'll be shown two items and a Bowser block, and you just gotta 
you know, follow the Bowser block, just so you know which block not to hit. And it's actually fairly easy. See that, I believe the Bowser block landed in the middle. So we get the star and the mushroom. And there we go. And yeah, we can jump on Toad's head. Ah, poor Toad. Anyway, there's two mushrooms, a power star, and a nice flower. Don't think we're gonna use any in here, but hey, let's go in here to the Crushing Cogs Tower, the mini boss level of Acorn Plains. So if you have been living under a rock for the past, I don't know, ten years, I guess. Um, it's 2016, so I assume. Wait. Did New Super Mario Bros. come out in 2010? Or 2006? I'm pretty sure it was one of those two dates, like, in particular. And... Uh, I don't know whether it's 2010 or 2006. Uh, either way... The, uh, the point I was trying to make is that the the mini boss levels are a staple of this series and I think of most Mario games actually now I think about it there's always like some kind of mini boss level uh, I'm not really gonna go for the red coin thing again don't really see a point really it's either gonna give us a nice flower or a life so and it's just wasting time wasting precious time not that I'm pressed for time or anything, it's just yeah, I, I kind of would like to finish this quickly and not spend forever on it. And I missed a star coin. Uh, I'll have to come back for it. Ah, uh, crud. I don't know where I'm like exactly missing the star coin, but I'm pretty sure I have a slight inkling of where it is. Oh, oh, and... For the purpose of this boss, I'm going to show off the Fire Flower Seeker right here. Uh, it's pretty much in front of every single boss fight, or mini boss fight, there's always a Fire Flower hidden by the door. And another staple of this series is typically Boom Boom here being the mini boss for every world, and I just got hit by Boom Boom. And you can pretty much hit him as soon as he stands up. So, there we go. Boom, boom, defeated. And with that, the path is opened up. Ooh, and there's an acorn. I'm gonna nab that. I'm just gonna... I don't care about me, verse. Uh, I don't care about... No. I don't care about the heat burns. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna save. Why wouldn't I? Okay. So we're gonna get the acorn. The acorn! I'm gonna take this acorn. And we're gonna go up here. I forgot to use the acorn! I was gonna use it. Okay, I'm gonna stop with that voice because it's actually quite annoying. Uh, oh, I forgot to hit this block. I was trying to, but I didn't. Uh, oh, there's nothing in it anyway. Crud nugget. Well, uh, can't go in there. But in here. Ba -ba -da -da. Yep, we have Yoshi! And I love Yoshi. Yoshi is my favorite thing in the world. Now, Yoshi is one of my favorite Mario characters just because of how dang cute he is, man. Ooh. Ooh. How do we get up there? That's what I want to know. How can my little Yoshi get up there? I guess he can. No, he can. I can, but he can't. There's not room really up there anyway. Let's just go down here. Anyway. I think, yep, down here is the second star coin. So we're gonna... Come on, Yoshi. You can do it. You can do it. I'm just trying to complete this as fast as I can without making many mistakes, so... 
And if you guys watched my Super Mario World Let's Play, you should know that eh, going fast is probably not the best thing for me because that's not that doesn't really go down too well when I'm playing. But I have faith in myself, especially for this game, because this game is one of the easier Mario games. Not that it's one of the easier ones, I mean, like, it's, um, easier to play. It's not easier, it's just easier to play, and there, and I'm more used to it. That was clutch. Yeah, I'm, I'm more used to playing this than I am Super Mario World, and, you know, I'll a lot better in playing this, in fact. Not to, not to um, toot my own horn or anything, but I would say I'm a lot better at playing this than I am at Super Mario World. Even though, even though it is still quite arduous. And yes, arduous is going to make a return. And I keep getting so many messages on my phone. Thank God it's on silent. Um, I'm gonna go this way. Wait, is this, is this four? That's three. So that means that one on the mushrooms is four. Well, I'm gonna do five first because, you know, the rise of the piranha plants. And indeed it is. But we have the fire flower, so we are good. And that Koopa shell showed that there is something down here. Another fire flower for more pointage. Whoa. Yeah, we're just gonna kill these piranha plants. It's probably the best idea. I'm gonna ignore that hammer bro, to be perfectly honest with everyone. Yeah, hammer bros are not my best friends in this game. Or in any game for that matter. But they are They're there, and can't really help that myself, but right. Jump, get this Koopa shell to hit the piranha plant. And we go through the pipe. And if you do not have a fire flower, this is pointless for you. And impossible. Well, I'm just gonna quickly, quickly run out of there. Oh, that was clutch, that was it. And I suddenly became a different, <laughs> different um, ethnicity, in a way. Not ethnicity. It, it, I just had a different accent. It wasn't really an ethnicity. Actually, mm, no, it, yeah, it was an ethnicity. Cool. No, I don't care. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, I got it. 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 And I didn't get top of the flagpole! No! Yeah, god dang it, man. I really wanted top of the flagpole there. Ah. Any hoosers? We now have the life mini game available to us. The life mini game is a bit different here. So we have these cannons, outcomes, coins, more coins, and life medals, but also Bowser medals. You collect more Bowser medals than you do life medals, you get no lives. You collect more life medals than you do Bowser, then you get as many... Well, you get the amount of life medals that you got more than the Bowser medals, if that makes any sense to you. Like, if you got th three life medals and two, two Bowsers, you'd get one life, for instance. And I got four, and no Bowser medals, so we got four lives. Taking our total up to 20. Fairly straightforward. And... With that, uh, we're going to go down here, over to here, 
getting this adorable little creature. I'm Baby Yoshi. You look like you need, uh, you know where to find food, so I guess I'll follow you. Thank you. And I'm gonna use a mushroom. Because I don't want to use a power up. Not quite yet, anyway. And. Yeah. So, the baby Yoshi. You can see it's indicating that we press ZR, or, well, actually, it doesn't even need to be ZR. It can be any um, of the back triggers or bumpers. And yeah, that's that's literally all that Baby Yoshi does, but it makes the game so much easier. Like, it just makes the level you're in so easy. And you can just cheese it very, very, very easily. And I'm all about cheesing. <sighs> yeah. I say I'm all about cheesing, and I kind of just lose all my power-ups and stuff. Oh yeah, but um, Baby Yoshi cannot raise to another platform if there is something above it. But Baby Yoshi can eat as many enemies as he wants. Kind of like Yoshi in that respect. But you don't get anything for necessarily eating any enemies. I guess, actually, no, maybe you get... Well, you get points, which means I guess you get lives after a certain amount of time. Or I don't, I don't know. And I missed... No, I missed that coin... Actually, I think that was just a life thing anyway, so that's not too big of an issue for me. But it's still a little bit nearing. Alright, I'm just gonna go up here and get this block, and it's a life. Sweet. Oh, ooh. Okay, I thought... I thought that it was around here. Oh, okay. There we go. That took major concentration on my part. But with Baby Yoshi, getting to the top of the flagpole is so much easier. And if you beat a level with a Baby Yoshi, you get to keep Baby Yoshi. As opposed to being a level with Yoshi and not being able to keep him. However, much like Yoshi, and I'm going to take an acorn in here just to be safe because it's a good item, you cannot take baby Yoshi into the castle levels. And we're going into Lemmy's Swingback Castle to be even more specific. And I didn't even need to waste my acorn here because we get one and I forgot that. <sighs> okay. Okay, no. Um, I I wanted that. Thank you. Okay, no lava. Don't like it. Don't likey the lavi. Lavi, lavi. Don't like the lavi. It just makes me think lobby, and it's just like that makes me think of the um, like let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby, and I just died. Alright, and now we're literally, like, back where we were, so... That's cool. Yeah, I, d I don't really recommend swinging... Oh, no, no. I don't recommend, um, gliding down like that into that star coin, and I'm gonna ignore all of those, because I didn't even mean to get the red ring anyway. Um, but yeah, I do honestly recommend not going for, like, the glide down, but going over to the other side and then boosting up. Because, in all fairness, it is so much easier. There we go. All three star coins. And that's all the star coins, I believe. Except one. Uh, do I want... Yeah, I want the acorn in here. There is a um, hidden fire flower off to the right of the door. But I do not want it.
and here we have your buck standard bosses. Pretty straightforward, do you say so myself. Yeah, that's li this is literally it. There we go. Three hits and they are down. Didn't even get to talk about Lemmy or talk about any of his techniques for battle. But there we go. And we're taking baby Yoshi to the world too. I could have phrased that better now that I say that. Let's go, baby Yoshi! And yes, we're gonna save. And with that, thank you all so much for watching, and in the next episode we will be taking on the second world... Layer Cake Desert. See you guys next time.